Hi Taurus, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your mid-month Angel Oracle and Angel Tarot reading for the month of November 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos. Should you desire clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions because this spread is a general spread for you Taurus, then I welcome you to go over there and click that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to either schedule a private reading with me or a Reiki session. So today I'm doing things a little bit different. I am laying out the card spread for the mid-month and you're going to see how the general energy is, what's going on in your mid-month and it's about overall energy. For your future opportunities. <coughs> what are you working towards? Hopes and fears. Advice from the tarot. And how you feel about this entire situation and the results. So, you're going to be able to also get two oracle cards, which is what is working for you right now. These are the messages from your guides and angels in the universe. So, let's start with our reading, my friend Taurus, and we're going to start here. And this is your overall energy for the mid-month of November. And you've been given three major cards. This is amazing. You've been given, okay, you've been given the, the lovers. You've been given justice. And you've been given the star. So, we're going to start off quite amazing. So this is about the overall energy that's happening in the mid-month for you, Taurus. So first of all, you've been given the lovers. And the lovers is all about uh, making sure that you're, you're making level-headed and you're balanced to make level-headed decisions and choices that are involved about around another individual. But it has to do with relationships and thinking that way about relationships to begin with. So it's about uh, carefully weighing your, 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 your options when it comes to making decisions. It's about intimate relationships, of course, but also it's about you being level-headed and being balanced and not jumping in, uh, you know, like I say, into the quicksand with both feet before you, you know exactly what it is and where you want to go. Now, I do see that, you know, there may be others' opinions coming into play here with this lover's card. Uh, people may be saying, you know, mm, I don't know if this person's for you. I don't know if you should be doing this. Are you running into this too quickly? Blah, blah, blah. So, please understand that um, there could be some legal issues that are involved around this individual as well. Perhaps this individual uh, is going through a divorce or a separation or has had uh, an ex coming into the equation here uh, with some legal issues. But I want you to know that I know that you are going to be, make, be able to make fair and just decisions circulating around any of this energy. So do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. Okay, this is your life, Taurus. This isn't anybody else's. So because at the end of it, I do see things are going to work out for you because there is the star card, my friend. That's a beautiful card. And it does say that this outcome will become happy. Okay, this is the overall energy for this month. So there may be legal issues and there may be relationship issues that are going to appear here in this reading. And we'll see as we go along. But I love this card. It's the happy outcome card. It's about you being able to make long-term, uh, you know, and optimistic plans in the future. I want you to know you're going in the right direction. That's what the star means. You are doing the right thing. You're on the right path. So stick to your guns, my friend. Wonderful card. So, now we're going to move on to what is in your mind, okay? We saw the overall energy coming in. So, let's see what we've got. Well, you've got the chariot, okay? This is good news coming into you. This is success coming into you. This is a possible trip that you're going to be going on, okay? Then you've been given the two of fire. This is all about self-development, 
okay? And you've been given the eight of earth, which often has to do with the material part of our lives and how we bring that currency and money into our lives. But it can also have to do with our closest circle, which is our families or people we feel closely enough connected to, to bring into that equation and circle. So let's go on with the chariot. This is something that you are, uh, this could be an achievement that you have been working on as some sort of an endeavor, some sort of project something that you've been working on and now it's coming to fruition and you're going to get recognition for this. So you need to pat yourself on the back for all the hard work that you've been dealing with. And it talks about, you know, uh, it's only because of your own sheer willpower that this has come to pass so well for you. It's almost as though people are going to look at you and say, wow, fantastic. How did you do this? This is an amazing, uh, amazing accomplishment that some of you have done. But I do see a trip coming in, too. And it may be on many different types of transportation, boats, trains, planes, whatever. But I do see for some of you, you will be going on a trip. But please know, you hold the reins, okay? This is about you and your success right now coming into you because you've taken the reins. You've taken the lead. You've stood up for your own self. Like I said, your sheer uh, willpower and determination is allowing you to reach this goal. Now, the next card you got here next to that is the two of fire and this is this is again a very good high energy card because it talks about you coming into your own about you finally being able to see the fruit the, the, the fruits of your labors it's all about you uh, dealing with individuals and perhaps some of you it will be business some of you may be signing contracts okay and partnerships with people but this could also have to do with this general energy here with the lovers card as well where there will be contracts signed maybe it's prenuptial maybe it's divorce papers maybe it's it's, it's a marriage license, but I do see that there will be new partnerships or contracts being signed. Please know that this is a move forward. When they talk about forward, not backward, my friend, this is a good move, okay? This is a good, good thing that's happening. For some of you, I see that it will be business, that you will be signing into a partnership with that. For others, I see it may be a contract where you're signing on property, okay? Leasing, okay? Or buying property. Now, the next card you got was the Eight of Earth. And this talks all about you getting getting recognized for your high quality work, okay? Getting recognized for everything that you've been doing here. And and they, they talk about you being rewarded for your skilled work. So whatever it is that you're doing, Taurus, out there, you're doing it right and you're you're like it's like you're a perfectionist. Things are working out in your favor. I do see that some of you are are embarking on maybe going back to school or taking a new course in some different type of skilled uh, topic or skilled uh, work, uh, knowing all there is to find out about a topic. I see some of you are researching on the internet. I see some of you are in the library. I see some of you are actually uh, looking into going back to school and taking a course in this. So I do see that you're studying hard, some of you, to get ahead and doing your research. These are great cards, my friend. So, you know, things coming into you, um, you know, what's on your mind, uh, some of you may be thinking about a trip, and this card came up. Also, uh, how you feel about yourself and how you're wanting other people to see you as well. What's on your mind? And you've got the Chariot, the Two of Fire, and the Eight of Earth. Now, moving on to what it is you're working towards. What is that energy that you're working towards? So, you've been given the Ace of Earth. You've been given the Queen of Earth. These are material cards that have to do with your profession and money. And this is the three of air. Okay, so uh, two out of three isn't bad. We'll get to this three of air, though. So let's talk about the ace of earth. The ace of earth, my friend, is all about the inflow of abundance coming into you. So this, this is, you know, it says, what are you working towards? You're working towards probably being affluent, being comfortable financially, and, you know, having a happy home life and all those things that come with it. But I do see this card refers to money. This card refers to business. This card refers to the inflow of abundance. So there will be uh, that coming into you. You're going to see money starting to flow into you in the form of this abundance. Um, I see some of you, again, we talked about this aid of earth, going back to school, okay, taking a course looking into something different. I do see that there's going to be a promising business venture being proposed to you, being offered to you. So step up and take a look at that. Um, because I do see, again, just like the two of Earth talked about, there will be signing of contracts, okay? So you will be signing contracts and important documents. 
So this could have to do with this new business venture for some of you that you're stepping out, taking that leap of faith to get involved in. Now, the next card you got was the Queen of Earth. And this is all about you being very, very busy, but now you realize you need to take time and step back and enjoy some of the people that are around you. And this could be family members. This could be, uh, you know, friends. Uh, but I do see that there may have been some challenges with these people in the past. And you may have pulled away or they may have pulled away. And there was a bit of a separation with these people. But now I see that things are working out. You're going to step forward and they're going to step forward. And it's almost like I, I see the, the olive leaf being presented in a forgiveness form. So I do see that you're going to deal with any challenges coming in now with these individuals in a kinder, more understanding manner. So uh, there's been some time to heal. There's been some time to get over any issues that you guys have gone through. So don't don't be upset about that. I, I know uh, some of you are waiting for this to happen, but some of you will see this happen. Okay, it will come in. Now, the three of earth is all about, you know, earth, I mean, the three of air. Air cards have to do with challenges that are brought in that could be legal issues, you know, lawyers and courts and, you know, documentations and disbursements of properties and, and things like that. But it can also have to do with um, dealing with people that created this, uh, you know, this um, energy in you that, you know, was challenging and you had to deal with it. And you're feeling kind of depleted and kind of sad, some of you. And you just wish you could just run away and take a holiday uh, and run off. But it also says that you need to forgive yourself and others and take time to heal, okay? I see some of you are still, you know, waiting for this to happen. Well, I do see this is going to happen. I do see that, you know, this is going to happen. It may take a little bit of time, but please know that this will come into play. The olive leaf I saw being presented as a form of forgiveness, and it will work out in the end. Um, and expect that abundance to come in. Uh, it can come in the form of that that you've been wanting. It can come in the form of, you know, reuniting with someone that you have been separated from. It, it can come in the form of money, because I did see this as a money card, uh, the abundance coming in with this new business venture. Now, let's move on to see what is benefiting you, okay? So, we go here. This is what's benefiting you, all right? So, let's see what's happening here. So, you've got the Six of Earth, Excellent card. It has to do with gifts and abundance coming in. Then you got the four of air. And that's similar to the three of air because the three of air talked about you needing to heal your wounds and try to get over a situation that's really been playing on your mind. Um, and then you got renewal. So this is a good, a good card. And this is all about um, what benefits you right now uh, that's going to help you heal. Well, first of all, you're going to see the gifts uh, coming in, in either the form of time, time that you've needed to have off, or effort, getting recognized for your, your skilled work that you've been doing, or money. Money may come into some of you. I do see that there are some new career, again, they talk about that, new career opportunities coming into some of you, which will bring in this abundance for you. Now, if some of you have applied to borrow money in a loan, please know that it has been re it has been accepted and you will receive these funds. For those of you that have had a long-standing debt you've been trying to pay off, you will have the resources to try to clear that up. So, now you got the four of air. And I talked about this four of air and you wanting to run away and take a vacation. But you, because of all the stress, you just wish you could do that. But don't let this get you down, okay? Because often we don't have the time, effort, or resources to go and take that uh, that vacation, or uh, you know. And it is escapism. It's a form of escapism. So all I can say to you is take yourself to meditation. Sit with yourself on your own and think about how you can rejuvenate your energy by thinking of all the positive things that can come out of this situation. I tell people this all the time. No matter how tragic the situation is, sit and think about the lesson that it taught us. And that in itself is a gift and the blessing. Now, I know it's easier said than done. Now, the next card you got is renewal. And this is all about you having to review the situation, okay? And again, this has to do uh, with what's going to benefit you. So sit back. And sometimes it's a matter of, uh, for some people I see it will be a relationship transition where you are realizing that you need to move on. Okay, you need to move on, you need to move on your own and go in a new direction. And that's what renewal is all about. It's about a favorable assessment of the facts 
and reviewing and evaluating this whole situation in your life, thinking about it very carefully and knowing that at the end of the day, it's time to move in a new direction. So it could have to do with the relationship. It could have to do with your job. It could have to do with the energy around you and the people that you've invited into your circle. So please know, often we have to move on the path. We, 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 we don't stay in the same, I mean, we can't. Life moves forward and we need to progress and move forward in a, in a new direction many times in our life, on our life path. So as far as what's going to benefit you, yes, I do see that it will come in the form of recognition. It'll come in the form of time. It'll come in the form of money for some of you. And you need to stop worrying, okay? Take time to heal yourself. Take time to get over this situation because I do see it's going to improve. And then some of you will have to move on. Some of you will be going in a new direction. But look at this new direction as a benefit to you, okay? As a good good thing happening for you. Now, um, for your um, future opportunities, okay, let's see what you've got here. Future opportunities. You have got, I'm going to move this over here, okay. You have got the King of Water, okay. You have got the Six of Fire, okay. And you have got the Five of Fire, all right. So, these two fire cards have to do with your personal self-development, okay, where it is you're going. And this is about your future opportunities. And the first card is the relationship card again, the water card. So let's go with the king of water, which is opening your heart and mind to those around you. Okay, so there may be some, uh, some king of water, this king may be coming into you. And he will be trustworthy, compassionate, cultured, and respected. And I do see this person may come in and be a mentor to you, maybe somebody you've uh, retained to, to help you with a uh, situation in your life. A legal advice or some um, someone who you can lean on their shoulder and you know cry on their shoulder and talk about yourself uh, I do see this person is trustworthy and heartfelt whatever advice he gives you Taurus I want you to please listen to this person now I'm calling this a king it could be a queen it could be a female energy that's coming in as well now some of you I see are going to be getting involved in passing it forward and helping other people out and that's known as a charitable act and some of you may be actually getting involved in an organization and, and volunteering to help out with a charitable organization. Or you may just be doing little random acts of kindness. But I do see this is happening to some of you, uh, you know, as far as um, your future opportunities. So, the Six of Fire. The Six of Fire is wonderful. This is a success card. This is a victory card. This is telling me that, you know, that good news is coming on the way. So expect your energy, expect the energy around you and the situation around you, Taurus, to be improving, okay? It's like everybody's going to look at you and say, holy mackerel. Look how life has evolved and changed and how much better you are in the position that you're in now. So this is a really good energy card of good luck and good energy coming in. Now, along the course, this is a five of fire, and there may be four people here, okay, and you're the one in the middle. See, you're the strongest one. It could be some people coming in. It could be four people for some of you. I do see that, you know, someone may come in and want to have a debate with you or want to, want to stir the pot up, uh, and know that um, they're there because... Uh, they're doing this because there's something you have they want, and they're envious, okay? They have the same competing goals that you do. Um, there may be little uh, issues that you're having with them, but pick your battles wisely, okay? And if you keep in mind that perhaps the reason that they're doing this with their energy is because they, you have something they wish they had. It could be your energy. It could be, um, you know, the position, your job, uh, the, your partner. It could be anybody. So um, just keep in mind... Uh, that, you know, hold your head high and pick your battles wisely and, and, and don't let this get to you, okay? Because you got the victory card. This is the card of good luck. This is the card of good news. This is the card of happiness. And the king of water, okay? Someone is there backing you. Someone's there defending you. Someone's there helping you. So this is a great friend to have, that king. So don't, don't get all bent out of shape about these people coming in that may want to stir the pot and uh, try to give you information to sway you into a different direction that isn't to your benefit, okay? So let's go on to how you feel about this situation, okay? Let's see what you're, you're thinking about this situation. Okay, um, these are wonderful. 
Obviously, some of you are really wanting romance in your life, and you're concerned about a relationship, a love relationship, because you got these two water cards, and then you got the awakening card, which is a major card. So first of all, I do see that some of you will be, and you've been wanting this to happen. So I'm going to read both of these, because they're, they, they are. One's the ace, and one's the nine. And the nine is almost a ten. It's almost perfect, okay? So the ace of water is all about you falling in love and meeting someone coming in. Okay, someone coming into you, and I do see there. Uh, some of you will will be meeting somebody because this talks about all your dreams coming true. Okay, the nine of water means everything's coming up roses for you in your romance, in your in, in all your in your love life, and your and don't be so concerned about it. Things are going to happen for some of you. It's amazing card. It's not quite the ten. You're not married yet, but I do see things coming out excellent for you. And some of you that have been in a long standing relationship with the ace of water, um, know that it's been through, uh, you know, all the work that you've applied to this relationship is starting to pay off and it will be the resurgence of this relationship. You will see it coming back to you. Maybe some of you have parted ways for a while and this, uh, this partner of yours is going to return. You guys are going to reunite. So this is a good card. I do see some of you will be moving on. You'll be moving to a new home. Okay, you're going to relocate where you're living now, and perhaps that's because you two are together now as a couple, and you want to live together. So you will be moving to a new home. Now you've been given the final uh, card for this is the awakening, and this is all about you looking at life in a different way, looking at a situation in a different way, uh, with a different perspective. And um, while you do this. Sometimes we, we kind of put our life on hold and we have a bit of a pause in our life at that time while we're trying to figure out, do I go this way, do I go that way? Um, obviously, I was doing it this way, it's not working, so maybe if I go over here and I apply this, things could change and you try to meld the two together in the puzzle piece. So I want you to remain, I want you to remain true to yourself, okay? Don't change who you are to try to please everybody else. Stay true to your beliefs and, and, uh, and have the confidence with this. I do see this is the Awakening card, and this is Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is the bringer of messages, wonderful messages. And often these messages are warnings or of good news. So let's look at it this way. Know that, um, you know, things are coming into you. I know you're thinking about things right now and how to put things into perspective and looking at things in a different way and working this out. So I do see that this relationship is going to come back. I do see some of you are actually where you've always wanted to be. You finally met the love of your life. So there, there will be contemplation. You will be thinking about things, okay? But I do see that, you know, it's important to be yourself. And if, you're, if there's a bit of a standstill or a pause with this action here in this relationship, don't get bent out of shape about it. Now, moving on to advice from the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Well, you've been given the Ace of Fire, which again is our, is our self-development card. You've been given the Five of Air, which could have to do with judgment, again, and legal issues. And you've been given the Five of Earth, which has to do with finances. So the tarot is giving you these warnings and these messages and this advice. So first of all, the Ace of Fire is telling you that the that there's going to be some new exciting uh, information coming into you. Uh, it's about a new opportunity. Perhaps some of you are, you know, it has to do with a career advancement, and it's going to change your life. So some of you are going to be receiving that. You're going to be receiving some wonderful information about a job opportunity, about a career advancement. Um, and uh, it's obviously going to benefit you financially for sure. Now, the card that comes up here, uh, the Five of Earth, talks about being worried about money. Okay? And this is a good card. The Ace of Fire kind of wipes this one out. So these have been your concerns about money, the lack of okay, and, and worrying about money. It shows me that some of you, you know, you, you have fears about spending money around you. I want you to know that you can get help for that, okay? You, go to your, your bank or go to your financial advisor, go to your accountant, or, you know, go to somebody who can help you, that, you know, personally, and it might just be a matter of tweaking your budget for some of you and pulling in that belt buckle in one more notch so that you're not uh, spending money on things where you don't need to. But you know what? I see that people here that are self-employed are, are concerned about this too. So look for that advice and you'll get that help. 
But this is all about to change because I do see there is some opportunities coming in with this new career opportunity coming in and offer. Now, this five of air um, talks about making a decision, and this has to do with judgment, okay? Making fair and just decisions determined around people uh, that are creating challenges for you or legal issues, if you've been dealing with legal issues. So please know that um, there is a choice that this talks about you being uh, asked to make and um, review everyone's motives before you do. Make sure you find out what everybody else is thinking and saying and doing as well uh, before you make this choice. Uh, because I do believe these other people are involved in the choice that you're going to make. So learn what you can from this uh, this situation. But before you make the choice, make sure you know everybody's motives, what's going on. Because if you jump in and just say, oh, well, I'm just going to do this, it, they refer to it as making an unwise choice. So this is, uh, you know, the advice from the tarot. Don't jump in. Do your homework. Make sure you know what's going on. Uh, the Ace of Fire, wonderful. It's saying that things are going to come out. It's going to work out for you for this new job for some of you. And, uh, you know, the money issue. The money issue will improve if you ask for that help, okay, and advice from someone with that kind of wisdom to, uh, to guide you and show you the way. Moving on to your hopes and fears, Taurus, let's see what you've been given for that. Well, first of all, you've had quite a few uh, air signs. You've been given the Knight of Air, okay, You've been given the Seven of Fire, and that's self-development, and you've been given the Page of Earth. So let's go to the first one, which was the Knight of Fire. So the Knight of Fire talks about an event coming in very quickly, okay? There's going to be something coming in, uh, whether it's by mail, whether it's, uh, you know, on the Internet, whether uh, someone's going to walk in the office and bring you this, uh, this uh, event very quickly, and, you know, you're going to have to act on it. Uh, but... What I want you to do is to take time to carefully review your options, okay? Uh, because it shows me that you're decisive, you're intelligent, you're, and, you know, you have this ability to forge and jump in and do things. But I want you to realize that when this event comes in, all of a sudden you're going to go, whoa, wow, I didn't expect it to be here already. Now i got to deal with it. Make sure you look at everything. If it's documents that you're being asked to sign and read, Read it carefully, okay, before you jump in. Now, the second card you got is the Seven of Fire. And the Seven of Fire, again, it has to do with self-development. It has to do with you defending yourself and having to step up and, and believing and, and, and defending your own beliefs and decisions and standing your ground. There may be, again, like I said, with, with, the, uh, with um, being judged with all these air cards, some of you may be, uh, you know, being judged, unjustifiably, um, stand up, stand your ground. Don't let them put you down. Don't let them sway you, and don't let them try to change your mind when you've made your mind up to move forward. Choose your battles wisely, okay? Again, I say that again, because don't let all the little nitpicky things, because we talked about that. We talked about you had something that someone wanted from you here, that they were a little green with envy, and that they were going to stir the pot up and try to get you rough, your feathers ruffled. So this says that you're going to be, you know, this is a pretty strong card. This is about you saying, uh-uh, not going to happen. I, I know where I stand. I know what I believe in, and I know what I've created, and I'm going to defend that. So I do see that happening there for you. Now, you've been given the page of earth, and this is great, because where we were worried here uh, about money, now you don't have to worry about it, because this is your your hopes and fears, okay? This is about you worrying about money, and now things are going to improve here. So I do see there's good news coming in about financial matters, but I do see that you're wanting to do something new. I saw that here earlier. You're wanting to take a course. You're wanting to enhance what you've been doing with your career. I do see that happening because, again, this talks about a new form of study that some of you are going to be taking. So your financial finances will improve, and I do believe it has to do with the addition that you're, you're putting in, the extra work you're putting in. Perhaps you're getting a credit or a diploma or a certification in something, and this is going to help you. But uh, I, you've got to the point where you feel, some of you, that you can't excel, you can't grow, you can't go any farther in this position at work. So now it's time that you've, you've taken the stand and said, you know what, this is what I want to do, this is what I need to do, and this is how this is going to make this come into play. The good news about financial matters. Great card. Now, moving on to our final, 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 final results. So let's see what the results come in now at the end of this reading. So you've been given the Queen of Water, 
okay? You've been given the wheel. Doesn't get much better than that, my friend. Or the empress. These are amazing cards. So, Taurus, things, you've had a lot of challenges here with these air cards, but at the end of the day, your, your final results are this, the water card. So I do see, because we had talked about romance for some of you here, I do see that um, this is a queen of water, and this is about relationships developing to a new level. And it's all about how the two of you have worked this out, how you've cared for each other, how you've cared for yourself. Love yourself first, remember, and then we can love others. So I do see that you've been doing your work, but I also see that things have been very tumultuous. I mean, you've got all these whales swirling around, killer whales underneath you, and all of a sudden now you've risen. You've risen above it. They can't get you. They can't, they can't reach you. So know that the, you know, the universe and the divine sources that be know you've struggled. You have been struggling with relationships around you, with the people around you or a partner around you. And now this relationship is going to develop to a new level. So trust your intuition. And it's all about how you care for yourself and others. This, <coughs> this doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. This can be friends that you've had trouble with. These could be people that you love around you, that there has been problems with. And know that now this relation, these relationships will go to a new level because I see the, the, the forgiveness, I see the love, I see the tenderness, I see the compassion that's come into play. <laughs> now, look what you got here. You got the wheel. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, new beginnings. Ending of others. Okay, you're holding the steering wheel. You're the one that has the, you know, the head of the boat, the helm of the ship. You have the control, okay, to make this happen. And you are evolving, okay? So, as the wheel spins, you're going in that positive direction. This is all about positive change coming in for you, okay? Things are going to improve, okay, with this, with your relationships, with work, with, because you had a lot of um, material cards coming up here with the earth cards and a lot of air cards coming up. Yeah, you had some self-development, which we need to add, I'm sure, to this uh, equation here <coughs> and this reading. But this wheel is your final result. This is a time of positive change. And the situation that you've been dealing with that's been challenging for you is now suddenly going to improve, okay? It's like fortunes on your side. Uh, things are going to work out. This is a wonderful, wonderful card. And then for it to be paired with the Empress. The Empress is all about you being nurtured by the divine, by the universe. Uh, wonderful, lavish abundance coming into you. Uh, so you're going to see the benefits of your hard work. Getting the help that you've asked for when it came to finances. Working out your relationships in your, in your life. And the money situation taking a course and going back to get that extra income that you so desire. This is also about any dreams you've had, any of your personal goals, which could have been uh, any of these with a relationship or with, you know, school and your job and so on and business ventures. So it's all about, again, taking care of yourself, asking yourself, what is it I need? Um, taking yourself to that place. I always say when we go within, we never go without. So my friend, nurture yourself. Because when you nurture yourself, it transcends and you're able to freely nurture others as well to help your dreams come to fruition, to help your goals come into place, to improve that beautiful positive energy. These were wonderful cards when it came out for your results. Things are working out in your relationships. You hold the car, you hold the steering wheel in your hand. You can't do anything wrong now. Things have ended, new beginnings, and they're all good. This is about positive change and things moving forward. And then the Empress, the Empress and lavish abundance coming in. And abundance can come in the form of time, effort, and money. So this was a great reading for you. At the end of the day, yes, you've had some challenges. Yes, you've had issues to deal with in relationships and money and business. But at the end of the day, you're, the whole thing, the dynamics is shifting because you've asked for the help. You've realized, you've thought about where it is I want to go. You've ignored those people that tried to put up, you know, um, uh, blockages in front of you and try to uh, sway you in your decisions you're making. Now, let's look at the messages from your guides and angels. And these are two, air, two uh, oracle cards. And the, this is a, a beautiful deck uh, of the angel oracle cards and messages. So let's go to our first one. Well, you got miracles. 
This is a beautiful card. So this is all about you believing in yourself and uh, trusting your own intuition and asking your guides and divine sources that be to send you what it is you need to know. And I do believe with these cards, that's exactly what's happening. You're going to see these things improving, just like the final outcome came out for you, Taurus. Now, you have the power, just like we talked about, this, the, the wheel card. You have the power to make these things happen. So know that when you step up, okay, this can happen. Beautiful cards, beautiful messages for you today, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this new format that I put out here today uh, for the mid-month readings for November 2018. I thank you again for your beautiful, beautiful um, subscribing to my channel and watching my channel. And I'll see you again in December and know that I continue, my friends, to stand in that circle of light for you.